I'm the pre-show. Illustrious and very uh, amazing co-host, Gerard the Completionist. Would you like to introduce yourself? Mm. Yes. Hey, everyone. I'm so excited to be here to the talk completionist. about Street okay. Fighter 6 as we are in the pre-show stages of all of this. Uh, Susie and I are lucky to be a part of the uh, Capcom Creators Program, which is a very exciting program. She hit him with the... And uh, we're just so happy to be here to talk smash. about Street Fighter 6. Uh, you smash, relax. Relax. More before the show begins. Brother... Uh, Out. Um, if you guys are watching the show right now, uh, oh, so that's what happened. My my keys statue. Please check out the my show keys are at the very end. We're giving game. away uh, via a Gleam link, so be sure to check out for that. Oh, okay. But as a disclaimer, it is for the U.S. only. So if you're outside of the U.S., you can't enter in for the contest. Uh, but hey, dude, whenever I huge, get nice and like, really I want to get like one of those glass cases full really, of statues. Really, really like. cool. That's enough about us. I think we should, what, what do you say? We talk about some Street Fighter VI and Let's... all 18 launch characters that the game will be releasing with. Those are made up of a lot of newcomers and a lot of legacy characters. You know, you've got your Ken, your Ryu, Chun-Li, uh, Guile, but then you've got a bunch of new characters like uh, Luke and Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Look at that boy, Guile, Guili. Marisa, just to name a few. And yeah, everybody looks really good so far. Like, <laughs> it really feels Marissa, like Marissa. Uh, Glow Up is not I know they're not going to make us wait 30 more minutes for this show to start. Before, but it really feels like all these characters through their, their redesigns or these new characters all fit this brand new kind of street aesthetic. Uh, yeah. Which is really exciting to see. It's dope. It kind of reminds some of the classic characters. Reminds you of Street Fighter 3. Over the last you know, several decades of Street Fighter. Yeah, it's... Jamie look a little off to me. Super cool. And speaking of very cool... Look at Jamie! I have a nice I love that character. question uh, for everyone at home. Uh, there's no prize attached to this one. It's just for fun. But um, who is taller? Chun-Li, Jury, or Cammy? Chun-Li. Mm. Actually, it's Jury. My bad. The answer is Chun-Li. Oh, it's Chun-Li. Bitch! Five foot seven, which I... Would have never guessed five foot seven that's scary to think i'm i'm only five eight so that's a big woman I'd still get my butt whooped by all of them so i'm i'm to be five foot seven I still live in fear of them that's crazy uh who are the three characters that you're looking forward to most gerard first and foremost i'm very excited for zangief uh you know i'm i've always been a grappler kind of guy when i'm playing these games um you know zangief uh over the years i feel like is a blend between like a bit of a comic relief but also very serious in his craft and uh th he, this time around he feels very very much uh you know resonating in the, in the wrestler aspect you know he's calling out moves in real time as he's performing them uh you know he's dropping elbows mm -hmm. he, he, he really shines a lot in this in this redesign for uh, street fighter 6 and I, I really dig it he does a good up, i gotta give it to, to guile Got right. that goatee, man. Yeah, At yeah. first, that goatee was a little a I'm little thinking weird, slightly about maining. Or not maining, but like it. learning it's, some a, guile. I, I, it's, it's a grizzled but also clean look. And mm -hmm. as a bearded gentleman, I, I'm, I'm, I got to appreciate a good look. I think it looks good, you know. Like uh, like you said, yeah, it took, it took a minute to grow on me. Uh, not literally, of course. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, it really brings out that like old like uh veteran veteran yeah totally totally yeah. uh the last character i'm incredibly excited for is my boy dj he dj really is hype feels fresh i'm it's great to have him back character i'm probably the most excited to play with regards to the classics that came before uh but i'm also really hyped to check out these new characters so about uh, festival i really <laughs> like kimberly's design and lily's design i can't wait to get my hands uh, to, to on on the controller. Yo, Lily, bro, uh, Lily. Susie, let's talk about your three. What I don't know. Lily's kind of exciting. That you're really excited Watch for say Marissa. For Street Fighter Six. So Marissa. definitely Cammy. Oh, okay, okay. She's my main forever. You know, she was literally the first video game character I played as. So of course she's my main. Um, but I guess more interestingly, I would say uh, Meno. You know, because uh, me really too. Like a, a grappler player. I'm ready to but make somebody's shit. Is just so cool. And she's that, firing um, Oh, I, I love everything about that character. So I want to try to, you know, uh, dig into that play style um, for a bit. And um, yeah, Jury as well. I love my, 
I love my devilish characters and uh, Jury in, in SF6 looks mm -hmm, extra devilish, mm -hmm. which is... I which is really she looks cool. strong. I, I got to give a huge shout out to my friend, uh, Thea Trinidad, a.k.a. Zelina Vega, uh, who obviously was announced as one of the commentators for Street Fighter 6. Uh, but more recently, she appeared uh, at the Royal Rumble dressed as jury as Ooh. they announced it. And that was just such a cool thing to see as you're kind of watching a wrestling That's kind of sick. Suddenly, That's kind of sick. You know, this person that you you know personally comes out dressed as, as jury and then like, boom, it's announced right then and there. In front of thousands of people worldwide. Look at the She's Nike so ones, cool. bro. That's I'm ridiculous. So for her and, and really all the commentators who get to come to the table because this is such a cool. Who's that Samurai? Street Fighter Six that really makes it feel like Chin, a bridging gap between Steve. Uh, you know, events. I actually don't know like who Evo that guy is. And and seeing it online yeah. and and being there in person is so different. Or her. It's just so exciting to see it all kind of come together. By the way, speaking of tournaments and uh, wrestling events and jumping off uh, top sure, ropes, we got time to eat our damn yogurt, <laughs> I've got though. another uh, trivia question. Yeah, that was a, that was a reach for sure. Anyway, well, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. It was great. <laughs> Which character, Gerard, has a fear of heights? Definitely not Chun. <laughs> definitely not Chun Li. <laughs> it's actually Rashid? a new character, Marissa, mm. who I'm a little confused by because she is extremely tall. You'd right. Think, you know, if you're tall, you're not that bad with heights why are you playing all tall people don't like flat. heights because uh, <laughs> so we fall weird. high look i'm i do, doesn't change the fact that i'm terrified of her i'm terrified of all the fighters if, if i met them in real life i'd i would run away. i'd like freak out as like oh my god you're you and then i would realize that they're them and they would beat me up so. beat that ass boy world tour well very impressive. oh this almost was like that yeah. one zanga part and so what are you thinking about Street Fighter Six? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm hoping and they bring I, back I a lot of a. Uh, speak for the both of us with a lot of uh, like old school they people like. Me uh, so much of the art that you'd unlock. I want Abel, like Adon, you know the old man from Street Fighter oh, Four. Uh, arcade mode or something you know. like that. Like it's just all. Like, I wonder what they're gonna do with like some of the characters like Oni or like. Um, what's his name? The, it, you just see the Levi Levy. He was the gal in Street Fighter Three. That's really what art. They're gonna bring back any of those characters from Street Fighter Three, like you, especially since it's more of a hip-hop based so game cool. but well, everyone, i'm not really sure what to think or what to know today please get ready for the street fighter 6 showcase with a very special yeah, guest yeah. host in just 15 minutes or so you're gonna make please us wait 15 minutes if you want a chance to win that sideshow blanca statue 26 inches it's a big boy uh please click the gleam link in your various chats as you're not watching gleam, this. bro and as we wrap things up Susie, take us home with our final trivia question so this final question is going to be pretty tough. No, it's I think not. you guys can handle it. What day does Street Fighter VI launch? June 2nd? Okay, this one I know. I'm ready. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Street, Street Fighter VI comes out on June 2nd, and it's pre-orderable right now on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. Oh, you want it? I want it too. I want it too. Today, I'm Thank thinking about pre-ordering so it. so much for watching the Street Fighter VI Showcase pre-show. I've been Susie Hunter. I'm Gerard the Completionist. And we'll see you all in Metro City. Is this dude the actual completionist? Bye. Like, the game Later. completionist dude? I don't remember what he looks like. Now they got us waiting. Whose voice is that? JP? Yo. That's loose. Yo, we got random side missions too, like break the car. Yo, this is an actual RPG. Holy shit. Boy, imagine getting hit with a pile driver out of fucking Lily's or not Lily, Kimberly's dash. Oh, Haggard? Oh, you can fight people with your created characters? That's kind of badass. Who was that? Oh, 
Oh, that's Ken. Dawson? Ugh. With Manon. More Ken with Blanca. With Chun Li? Get out of here. That's kind of cool. You can fight with your created characters in the battle hoe. Yo, this is about to be so clean. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Weezy. What's Welcome up, Wayne? Street Fighter Six Showcase. And how about that new trailer? Listen, I've been playing Street Fighter since I was a kid, but this new game is on another level. We're talking new ways to fight, crazy new game modes, and the most content we've ever seen in Street Fighter. So let's get into the game and get the showcase started with the latest from Street Fighter Six's director. This guy. Ooh, he killed it. Takayuki Nakayama. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name is Takayuki Nakayama, director of Street Fighter VI. As you saw in the beginning of our latest trailer, Street Fighter VI Yo, he has a Hadouken button up. Significant single player content in the form of World Tour. Today, I'd like to tell you more about World Tour mode. Game mode. Big Metro. Loki, some of these spots look familiar. Yo, we got Hugo on the board up there. In the story in Metro City. You'll be able to create an avatar with a high degree of customization. And assume the role huh. of the protagonist joining Buckler Security Services training course. Trainer, there, you'll meet your coach, Luke. Go through basic training and set yeah. off on your adventure. I say, you're photogenic. Gonna help him handle this. This your rival? He looks kind of clean, to be honest. about world tour is that you'll interact with a slew of unique characters Gosh, come on man so man. now we're ready to hit the streets he do he do people from various walks of life inhabit the world of street fighter but they all love a good fight Ooh. with a single press of a button you can seamlessly enter a battle with them that's kind of cool bystanders will also come to see what's going on yo i I Street bet Fighter you can find the special characters. Like this is how they're gonna bring back some of the move sets from older characters. Button, modern control style that features three attack strengths and allows you to perform special moves with a single button press. Okay. You can Burn knuckle. Special you think, I think so. Because uh, they showed some characters button. from Final Fight not too long ago. Which will let you enjoy the like about a week or two ago, and it showed this this guy, the There's main guy training. Button for performing combos, so use all this as much as you want. The more you battle, the stronger your avatar becomes. Earn experience points through battle to level up your stats, such as your vitality. Some fights have specific objectives that can be completed to earn more rewards. He's fighting his random police officer. And add a new wrinkle to combat. Jamie does look clean though. Yo, I really like wearable gear at clothing shops. Event Yo, this is the Tony Hawk of Street Fighter. Appearance and their stats and characteristics as well. The product lineup changes from time to time, so check the stores periodically to see what's for sale. Okay, okay. There's also a variety That's probably for of real fight money. to visit in the game. Yeah. Food purchased from these places can restore your vitality, give your stats a temporary boost, and other perks. You can also use these items to give yourself a helping hand during battle. 
So there goes how they're gonna add like the, the single player from other games, like the, uh, like the, not story mode. Damn, I can't even remember the adventure mode. Okay, Jamie. Yo, that must be his secondary costume. Congrats. From now on, you can tell people you are a student of the great Jamie Show. Woo! Once you knock that back and make it official that way. Jamie's so fucking cool, dude. Drink it, bro. Don't be scared. Just relax. It's not booze. Trust me and take a swig. It's a family made herbal drink that really boosts your energy. It's booze, bro. It's booze. He fucking lying. <laughs> exploring the I would have drank the hell out of that, boy. You, <laughs> you already know. This mission has you going to Metro City's Chinatown to meet a legendary fighter. Becoming a student of a legendary fighter grants you access to their master action. Hmm. Some master actions can be used to destroy wooden boxes and barrels or leap to faraway platforms. That's dope. You'll have plenty of opportunities to use master actions in different ways, but they all consume the drive gauge. So you'll have to be careful how mm. often you use them. So just like when in the actual the city, competition mode, like uh, the 1v1 mode. Attack you. Now that's when you can use the world tour exclusive move, drive stall, to slow the flow of time. This will okay. slow down the movements of surrounding enemies and master actions become more powerful. You can also use this to avoid enemy attacks or strike first to gain the advantage when the battle begins. I was going to say, this probably gives you an advantage on their health bar for striking During them first battle, like that. Opponents will start to glow white. This Ooh. is when you have an opening to strike during an enemy's weakest point. It shows you where to counter hit. Landing a normal attack here will trigger what we call pressure time, and you'll do more damage Ridiculous. than Ridiculous. However, if you can land a special move, it'll take you one step further. You'll put them into a stun state. What? Keep this in mind okay, okay. on the streets. That's pretty slick. I like that. It'll help give the people the... Uh, more casuals that that is really fucking crazy it'll give more casual people the the visual of when to counter hit defend dang she's old as hell how long has the it been since street fighter 5 Your mama when you decide to become a student of a legendary fighter you can also undertake special missions complete those missions to strengthen the bond between you and the master and you'll open up new stories to learn more about them this is starting to feel a little bit like um uh, boruto uh what's the game called strikers yeah naruto the boruto strikers You can give the master presents to strengthen your bond with them and also see how they react to your gifts. Especially how it's like really heavily RPG based Choosing and where they only say the initial sentence. Use their basic attacks. Damn. Using that style you didn't have to kick him like that. You accumulate experience points, which raises your style level. Level up enough, and you can visit your master to learn new attacks and expand your move set. Hmm. In addition to experience points, you can also earn skill points through battles. These can be used by opening up your device and selecting skills. Here you can unlock buffs for your character that can increase their punch or kick strength, maximize their vitality, and more. The drive stall move we just touched upon is also unlocked via skill points. 
Pool. You can call them as an assist. You can build a character that's unique to you by leveling up your style and skills and customizing your basic and special attacks. Damn. Honda? No, that's Cammy. Yo. It gives him the cinematics. Be. That's cool. That's cool. This game looks amazing. Marissa? Yeah, you're fighting the actual lion with a spike collar. That's new mommy though, don't tell nobody. I have to tell everybody. That's Bay. During your adventure, you'll obtain flight tickets, which you can use to travel from Metro City to other locations oh, snap. throughout the world map. If you want to learn all of the styles and moves, you'll have to dedicate some time to find the legendary fighters scattered there we around go. the world. You show sure right. Oh, this is sick. And you'll find many of your See, look. favorite characters in World Tour. This is what I was talking about. There may be some unexpected appearances too. Oh, you can learn his stuff. This is the guy from Final Fight I was talking about that got leaked a few days ago. Don't you worry, my friend. Uh oh. Hospitality is our specialty. Leroy. Come on, sugar. <laughs> nah, let me stop. There are characters steeped in mystery and organizations you may recognize. All of which come Mad together game? to immerse you in the Street Fighter universe. Rudra. Rudra. Nishal Dawson. Naishal is a large city that serves as another area to explore in World Tour. Complete with its own stores that differ from the ones you find in Metro City. In contrast to Metro City's urban landscape, this city has a fairly complex topography. And who you'll meet in this new city will also differ. You gotta fight fridges. <laughs> you gotta fight fridges that shoot food. That's all we have to show you for World Tour mode this time. Come on, man. We hope that you enjoy not only the battle portion, but the story and creating your own character as well. Found him. Yeah. This is kind of lit. Watch out. This game, bro. This game is kind of wild. It's looking nice. Uh, what you mean, man? What you mean? Why you laughing? Welcome to the world of Street Fighter. Challenge, or just passing through on your journey. They changed the voice actor. Either way, we're more than happy to have you. They changed the voice actor. Next, we'd like to talk about one of the other main modes in Street Fighter 6, the Battle Hub. In the Battle Hub, the other the voice actor sounded way better, to man. Together and have fun playing games and doing other activities. Access the cabinets on the floor to play Battle Hub and Extreme Battle Matches and games at the Game Center. Ooh. That's kind of wild. Inception. As you saw from the trailer at the beginning of the show, the avatars you create and train in World Tour can also duke it out. Ooh. That's kind of hype. Look at his long ass combo. We also have a new Fighters Club feature added to Capcom Ooh. Fighters Network. 
This will help players get together with friends or like-minded players. Okay, okay. Join so an they're already like already existing club or create one of your own from scratch. They're kind of like uh, clans. Once you've set up the base. Wait, did the they club, what? You can also oh yeah, yeah, they did change it. It sounded like it. Not only that, but you can design your very own club uniforms that all members can wear. Oh, my allergies going to act the ass. Good idea for a club. Let the world know about it. Uh we're looking forward to seeing players don their club colors and enjoy the battle hub together. If you're all about that street fighter life, yeah. the battle hub is the place to be. This is now it's a pure eternity. it's a pure uh That's a lady instead of before it wasn't a lady. There's more depth to the voice. Continue. Yo, they brought back the battle scar. Who? Okay, Ryu. Next up, let's talk about some of the cool stuff we have in Fighting Ground. Mm. Boy, these hits sound meaty as hell. In the video you see here, we've added a character damage toggle. During battle, fighters' faces, bodies, and clothing will get damaged or dirtied up. This okay, will okay. Some more realistic feel. Right. This can also be turned on and off at any time. Real wins. Ken does look hella cool, though. I'm excited. Additionally. Sound accessibility options have been improved for Street Fighter 6. There are sound effects that will give you the heads up on the distance between you and your opponent. That's crazy. The height level of attacks. What? Oh. That Was might that be. Is a cross up or not? This is accessibility option. Indicate your remaining gauge. Yeah. We hope that these options will let you better grasp the situation of your fight. It lets you kind of see them, see the game, while but with your ears. That's kind of cool. I like that. They thought of when everything. We start the game. We've added Ooh. a tutorial that explains the basics of battle and the combat system. Okay, okay. Like previous games are way more in depth. They look like they're kind of picking up the anime fighter role. We're in giving you an entire list in modern control types of tutorials. Offline only control type where an AI assistance system will perform oh, actions dynamic. and combos depending on the distance from an opponent or the context of the fight just by pressing an attack button. Huh. We call this control type dynamic. Yeah. And it's recommended for beginner players who are just getting into their first fighting game. Casual matches against friends and family. Or when you're experimenting with a character for the Boy. first time. Ooh, you don't to you. Me to be a pushover. We got the classic king. Okay. Mode is our single player mode where you'll square off against the computer. Yoon. Yang. Oh, what it is. Been a hot minute since I've seen either of you. But don't worry. I'm doing just fine all on my own. Is he like a brother? Who is he? Go through each character's story and you'll unlock a special illustration after the ending. Jamie's gonna be up there, bro, in tears. I know it. <laughs> Cammy versus a truck. Online rankings for your score. So get out there and challenge the world. Now they know they should have pushed Sean right there. Again in the gallery. Try to unlock them all. This is. Nah, 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 nah. 
Fu. She is a singer and a ballerina, but which character is the right one for you? Check out I don't know about that. Which will teach you about each character's kind of turned me a little bit sideways for playing the character. Each special move comes with a basic tutorial on how to use them. And you can experiment with them yourself by pressing the try button. Oh, it's showing off the dynamic controls too. Well, and the characters Toy special. That doesn't sound like a praise to me, but. Ooh. Once you've gotten the basics of a character, okay, drill, okay. head on over to the combo trial section. There are basic, Ooh. intermediate, and advanced combos. Was that a one frame link? Uh, hold on. The game speed by 50% to practice your timing. It's a great way for you to expand your horizons and abilities. I can't tell. You have a chance to finish it. You got to take it. Player commentators, commentators. Yeah, yes way, yes way. Team battles. Play with or against other players or the computer in this mode. Oh yeah? You can compete in teams, single elimination or double style battles. Make sure to turn on your favorite commentator and get ready for some fun with your team. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this like... Does he eat the same health bar? No, no, okay, he gets healed. What the hell was that? Next up is Extreme Battle. This differs from a normal battle because Heaven there are and special rules or gimmicks on the stage. Full For run example, bombs away. A battle where the winner is okay. the first to knock down their opponent five times while rampaging bulls run across the stage. Or set up a rule. Where Yo, that throw looks kind of nasty. All right, he hunted. First, while random drones show up and have different effects when they're destroyed. This will let you have fun with other players in a party-like setting. So give them a try. What did that drone do? Extreme though? battle can be played offline or in the battle hub, and also in custom rooms, hmm. which we'll talk about next. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this is crazy. If you want to play with a group of players online, then creating a custom room is the way to go. So custom rooms, I imagine, cabinets seem like battle lounges from Street Fighter Five and Street Fighter Four. Or training mode. Yeah. Custom rooms now allow for up to 16 players at a time. I'm glad they brought the training mode back. Strides to improve the experience compared to previous titles. So now you can go back into the training room with uh, a person from online or one of your homies. Here comes a new challenger. Two time. Boy, this is Japanese voice actor. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. This is a great way for friends to get together and teach combos. Or yeah. try out new characters. This is great, bro. I remember this. One. It gives you the frame data too? Holy shit, that's kind of sick. popular ranked match lets players worldwide compete mm -hmm. against each other fight it out with players at your skill level to earn league points rank up oh ranked up to gold nice for street fighter 6 in order to burden the player with less stress than before we've added a new one-time rank down protection feature where you won't lose league points in certain leagues huh. in addition we have character specific and random character ranked matches Ranked match what does that mean? Which will determine your rank for a period of time. Huh. Casual match also returns in Street Fighter 6. Oh, that art is nasty. Online without any change to your league points. Wait, what did she say? So, Me what? What do you think? The team working on Street Fighter 6 is nice, it's challenging nice. Challenging themselves to create a game that's going to become a long love Street Fighter title that all players can enjoy. It's really good. It's, only it's a really little good. bit longer. But we can't wait for everyone to enjoy World Tour, Fighting Ground, and Battle Hub. 
Oh yeah, I'm excited, man. Look forward to playing Street Fighter 6. I do, I do. I'm excited. <laughs> Turn up, W. I love DJ. I'm glad he's back. They're giving us everything in a fighting game. They are. It's about time, dude. Oh yeah, Shuhei. Hey everyone, I'm Shuhei Matsumoto, producer on Street Fighter 6. I'd like to walk everyone through what our plans are for Street Fighter 6 once the game releases on June 2nd. All right, all right. Part of Street Back Fighter's to Lil Wayne. Charm is the cast of characters from around the world that appear in each game. We believe that Street Fighter is where players can take control of unique characters with their own awesome fighting styles. For the players and for us as well. The appeal I'm probably going to main Ken. I ain't going to lie. The most important element of the series. With Street Fighter 6, we're continuing development to deliver new characters to you every year. Today, I'd like to introduce the four fighters for year 1. Oh, this is DLC? Rashido! Rashido! Aki, Aki, okay. Akuma. Ed? Okay, Ed's back. And Akuma, I knew it. Get out of here. Get out of here. So the leaks was right. The D they were DLC. Year one, we'll see Never mind. We ain't gotta play. We ain't gotta play, Ken, no. Aki, Ed, and Akuma. Rashid joins the fight in summer 2023. Oh. In autumn 2023, Ed in the winter after the new year, and Akuma in spring 2024. Dang, Lou gotta wait a whole year to play Akuma. These new year one characters will appear in World Tour as well. Oh, that's sick. You can enjoy delving into their That's lore. sick. In Battle Hub, we're planning various events and a store to obtain special collaboration items. We can't wait to show you what we have planned. For the 2023 season of the Capcom Pro Tour, Street Fighter VI will be the main game. To commemorate the release of the new game, the Capcom Cup 2023 champion uh -oh. will receive a special $1 million prize package. And the total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour 2023 will be over $2 million. Both modern and classic control types Damn. Will be allowed in the tournament. One mil, so one mil for the, the, the Capcom Cup winner. Capcom Pro Tour. Street Fighter is that taxed is or no? For pre -order now. Yeah, I'm gonna probably pre order it tomorrow when I get paid. I ain't gonna lie to you. And in addition to the regular version, we're year also one character pass? Other editions okay. That the year one characters and content. What's the ultimate? You'll also receive special pre order bonuses. So okay, please, okay. Check them out. Dope, dope. Okay. Hope you're ready to begin. All right, you ready? That's the biggest prize for any fighting game tournament yet. Two mil. Everybody's about to be playing Street Fighter. Practicality comes in many forms, but if you want to start off on the right foot in this city, hit the streets. Metro demo Street Fighter Six. Okay. PlayStation available now. Okay. No way. We've created a special demo version of the game. So players can enjoy the first bit of world tour and some modes and fighting ground. Ah! The demo will allow you to create ah! avatars that can also be used in the main version of the game on the same platform. Bro. So, we hope you put in a lot of time with the avatar creation feature and have fun. So I can go play the demo right now on my PS4. Everybody in their moms. The PlayStation All platforms at 26. The demo will be available after this showcase finishes. Okay, okay. I got to go to my PlayStation. We got to go to the PlayStation. We're creating we can't play it on PC yet, but we can play it on PlayStation. It revolutionizes the fighting game genre. To this aim, our development team has taken the lead and challenged themselves to realize something amazing. We're now at the point where their hard work has materialized into something we believe everyone will enjoy. And it's oh, man. On June 2nd. Oh, man. <laughs> That's right. You heard it. The Street Fighter 6 demo is dropping right now. 
So create your avatar, Here. explore world tour mode, and start fighting. Thanks for tuning in. Street Fighter 6 out June 2nd. Yes, hey, sir. Throw hands with your boy Weezy. Peace. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That was pretty hype. That was pretty hype. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's exciting. So it's not a beta. It's a demo. Ugh. Listen to this boom bap in the background, though. Thank you for showing. Let's go, Street Fighter. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Hell yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Nice show. That's crazy, brother. No. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming in, uh, Runic. I really appreciate it. Always, you're always welcome here. Nothing but love for you. I miss you, man. Thank you, Oreo for hopping in too. Thank you for everyone else for hopping in the chat who was just lurking. Hope you guys really enjoyed this presentation of the Street Fighter 6 Showcase. Tell me what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to become a member of the box today. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the Battlegrounds. Peace. Yes, sir.